All right. Hi, guys. So today I just wanted to go over um, the essential oils and how I make my astringent. So I have these two little bottles um, that were used up and empty. So there's two sizes you can see. And I just add... Um, I don't know if you can see that. Witch Hazel. So this is the one I got at the health food store. And it is um, the aloe vera version. I have had the rose version. And then recently we found this plain one just from Walmart. Um, I don't know. It's um, it, it doesn't smell the best. But um, it's in its pure form I suppose. So um, once you add your oils it will smell a little bit differently. So... If you're looking for anti-aging and sunspots, um, I think we we know that um, frankincense is one of the most common for sunspots and scarring, and so that's a definite one that I use um, for sort of for sunspots. I got it one here, and on this side I actually have two scars. I fall on my face, <laughs> and it just kept landing on that same eye. So, um, so that's working really well for me. And I recently picked up the juniper berry, which is supposed to be really good for, for skin too. Um, and, and also carrot seed. So, and as you can see, I've got two different labels here. This is the older one that secretly I, I prefer because you can actually read the big words there. And then this is the new one. Um, and you really have to look cause it's tiny, but so that's the updated look. Um, oh, and then sometimes, I just wanted to point this out, they do recommend using rosehip oil. And I have some here, rosehip seed, and you can see this is not our brand. And it smells rancid. It smells old and past its date. And I didn't really think that they could expire. I mean, I've had some of ours for for quite a while and they still smell fresh as the day I got them. So um, there again, you're looking at quality and and ours are supposed to be as, as good as Young Living, um, but with a much better price point. So what was that thing floating up in my camera? Um, so yeah, that is what I do. I just, to, this last time I filled it up and I put two drops of each. I don't know if you guys saw the picture I posted. So I think I had frankincense, geranium, and juniper berry. So two drops of each. And that's kind of a, a weaker um, solution in my smaller bottle. But you could also make a concentrated roll-on and do maybe like an oil or something for your under your eyes. And I do have, I didn't bring that one, but I, I did label it for um, um, puffy eyes. I did make one and I can't remember the oil. I've got some random recipes written down in random places. So I might have to go collect them or start researching again and, and put together some, some recipes. But but you can just go and, and search um, Pinterest or Google for whatever oil, you know, you're specifically looking for. Um, tighter pores or wrinkles or scarring or whatever you uh, want to tackle. And then have fun. Play. It feels so amazing to sit down and know that you're creating your own thing and you're saving money and um, <clears throat> being a little bit of a chemist. So, and um and also, I'd like to talk about someday uh, the bath salts. I make my own bath salts with different oils, and uh, so that's fun too. And also, you can make um, night creams. I don't like using the oils in the morning because you don't know their sun sensitivity. So if you go out in the sun, um, it could react with the oils and, and cause you some issues. So if I'm making a cream, I will just make a night cream and use that before bed. So, um, But I do use my astringent in the morning too. So, but then you're putting on all the other creams and whatnot, so it's not going to be a prominent, um, you know, first level hit from the sun. So, um, so yeah, that should um, give you some ideas. Save your old bottles. They're awesome. They just, you shake them up and, and squirt onto, uh, oh, I want to show you my pads. So these are what we use. Um, you probably are all familiar with, with those, but um, we actually don't enjoy washing our face. And this started um, when we were in the camper, and sometimes campers, you're very tight for elbow room, and it's just awkward. And, um, anyway, we got started with those, and it, um, it's something we just continued even in the house now. So after all these years, um, we're still doing that and prefer it. So, so just a watery-based um, astringent to wash your face or whatever. Um, so that's what we do. I could even add some water into, into that. So, so yeah, I hope that gives you some ideas. And... Um, 
and you don't have to feel like you're always buying and buying and buying. You can create your own and re refill your old bottles and then interact or um, interchange them as, as needed. And uh, yeah, so just have fun and enjoy. Let's talk to you later.